Choosing the wrong water softener can leave your problems unresolved and be a costly mistake for you and your family. With so many options on water softeners on the market today, it's crucial that you know the right questions to ask so you can get the best water softener for your home. Miss these critical questions I'm gonna share with you today and you could be spending more of your time, more of your money, not achieve the goals that you need, but worst of all, possibly leaving toxins in your water. So stick around, we're gonna share these questions with you so that you can ask the right questions and take care of you and your family and make sure you get the right system for your home. In order to really understand value, I'm gonna first define the typical customer to make sure that you fit that category because most customers wanna make an investment into an appliance like a furnace or uh, a refrigerator, water heater, and they want it to last a long time in the home. I know some of you might be coming and going, uh, so this really, this video is not really for you, but if you're, this is your forever home or this is a home that you really love and you want something to last a long time, we're gonna talk about basically five professional grade manufacturers today. And so we're gonna help you understand what are the things that you need to ask them. So if you're going to invite out uh, some of the companies to help you with your water, the first thing you need to understand is that the industry is broken up into three categories. There's professional grade, there's sticker companies, and then there's big box products. So we're gonna eliminate the big box products because they are manufactured with a one year warranty. So, and they're made in China in almost all cases, in fact, I think all cases. So you gotta imagine whenever someone moves the manufacturing to China, they're doing one thing. They're hitting a low price point. So I know that's important, but when it comes to your health and welfare and to actually last long, what we've seen, and you guys might be able to attest to it as well, water heaters, right? Water heaters don't last like they used to. They used to be really durable. Well, they keep cheaping out on the manufacturing. Sometimes they make them in China, and what you find is that they don't last as long. So I want to define what we're looking for in order to make sure that you get the right questions to ask the company that you have out. So first of all, we're going to kick out the big box companies because they're manufactured to a one-year warranty, maybe two-year warranty. Yes, be careful. The box says 10, 10-year ten warranty, but that's, you have to read it. That's on the vessel. That's on this fiberglass. It doesn't really mean anything, right? It's, of course it's not going to leak. Who cares about the I mean, we care about leaking, but it's not going to leak. We really want to know, will it soften the water? So that's number one. So we kicked out the big box guys. Now the sticker companies. That's guys who will take a control valve, screw it on a tank, put filter material in it, and then they stick their sticker on it, okay? We've done that, so we have to hit low price points for some customers who are literally like looking to sell the home in a couple of years and are looking to keep a low cost product. Now, we're not really a big fan of those, and I'll tell you why. As we bought them, we got them from a distributor. What does a distributor do for you? He assembles it all. A lot of them are called OEMs, Original Equipment Manufacturer. Well, no, they're not really a manufacturer, because all they did, they were an assembler. They didn't manufacture the resin, they didn't manufacture the tank, nor did they manufacture the valve. They just threw them all together. So I think the right word terminology is actually assembler. So Chuck in the truck, you know, even Angel Water at one point, we bought products that were made at distributors or OEMs, and we put our sticker on it and sold them. That was over 10 years ago. When all this stuff was made in America, and we found that they lasted a long time. Well, as years went on, major companies like Fleck uh, uh, and Autotrol, they made control valves that then they moved the manufacturing to China. And guess what happened? Quality went down. You know, so when quality goes down, who gets all the complaining? This guy. <laughs> the phone rings in my office. You know, I bought this, this thing sucks. So we started getting a lot of calls on Autotrol and Fleck we're like, okay, we really need to take a look at other opportunities. That's when we started recognizing that these distributors or OEMs, assemblers, they were assembling it with Chinese resin. And a lot of times they would switch to a Chinese tank. How did we find that out? We had a flood. You know, we buy these things and we're not looking at the little emblem on the bottom. We just, the whole thing comes to us and we, we're selling it. We didn't realize that, oh my God, we have a Chinese valve and then Worst of all, our clients are calling to complain that it had Chinese or cheap resin. 
So again, why were they doing that? The OEMs, assemblers, were actually trying to keep the cost down so more dealers or chucking the trucks were going to service, uh, were gonna buy them from them. So they kept the price down because everyone wants the lowest price because everyone's all about price, right? The consumer's like, you're more than Chuck or you're more than Tom, you're more than Harry. And so you're like, ah, I gotta get a lower price. And we demand that from the OEM. But here's the problem. When we demand a lower price, that's what we get. We get lower quality. So that's why I want to highlight that, that the you know, sticker companies, they're buying their products from OEMs or assemblers, and they're assembled together. Now, you have to do the, your quick research. So the number one question you're going to want to ask, is it all American made? Now, I know I get so many people that tell me, hey, your videos are wrong. You know, Culligan does, makes it in America. No, Culligan does not make it in America. Their factory was right down Lake Cook Road in Northbrook, Illinois. And guess what? They moved their factories to China. Yes. So now it says, if you read, the direct, read their wording, it's designed and assembled in America. Huge difference, right? That's your job. That's why you need to ask the first question. Where's it made? Where'd you make it? I want to know. Is all the parts made in America? Because here's what will happen. You want to know that. And I tell you why. Because what, what happened here is going to help you. We had a unit leak, caused damage, and guess what? The manufacturer is from China. Guess who would not pay for the claim? The China. So if you have a flood in your house, guess what? You can't sue China. No, you end up having to sue this guy. But if I'm a sticker company or chuck in the truck, you have to count on my insurance. So boom, bing, 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 was it made in America? And number two, do you have insurance? And I want a certificate to show me. So you want someone like me to have at least a $1 million insurance policy, right? Because in case your house gets damaged, you want to make sure your insurance com company can subrogate the claim to me. Or see, I check with the manufacturers to make sure they have certifications. So in today's world, we need to know, is it made in America? Because you can sue a company in America. And also, their quality ends up being better. I can tell you by buying American-made products, they're not trying to hit the lowest price possible. They're trying to provide quality products for the consumer because their mindset is similar to mine. And here's my mindset. It's pretty simple. My mission is to provide healthy, clean water that will save you money in the long run because a great working water softener is going to remove the rock from the water, which will save your family money. If you want to learn more, we have tons of videos on water softeners and what they do. Check them out on YouTube channel. By the way, if you love this video, please share it with your friends and family. Press like. Again, would be very grateful to that because uh, that's what, you know, that helps us grow this channel. That said, let's get back to this. So now one, what is the warranty? That's a, one of the big things. And two, is it made in America? So you want to be able to specifically ask for that. What is, where is it manufactured? Is it made in America, not just assembled in America? We want to know, where is that control valve manufactured? Where is that tank manufactured? M really important is the filter material, this resin. Where is that manufactured? Because those are some key things. They'll help you realize that if this stuff is made in America, guess what? We see it lasting 15 years. 15 years. So that's why the person selling it to you should be able to offer that same extension. Now, so we have obviously warranty. We have where is it manufactured. Next, we want to say, is it certified? So what certification means is that National Sanitation Foundation, that means NSF, which is National Sanitation Foundation dot org, or non, it's a nonprofit, that the manufacturer of this took it in and sent it to the fact to NSF. And they put through thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of water at it and tested the water after it went through there and said, yes, it is taking out the rock and the radium-228 and 226 out of the water. Now, here's the health side, right? The reason what makes me so passionate is Illinois, literally the northern Illinois sits on a radium belt, and most of the water, if not all the water, has a touch of radium-228 and 226. Some communities actually have high levels. So a place you can go to see what's in your water is ewg.org, O-R-G. There they have what's called a tap water database. Click on it. 
you can enter your zip code and find out what are the toxins in your water. Now, this is very important because if you, like Northern Illinois and parts of Florida that we serve, have radium in the water, then you want to get something that helps, you want something certified to take that radium out. And see, the thing is, is that an NSF 44, that's 44 certification, means that NSF threw thousands and thousands of gallons of water at with rock and also radium, and then tested it after it, and guess what? The radium's gone. Yay, that's a health benefit. And two, the rock is gone. And here's the key. That filter material right there, not only is it golden like gold, right? It's actually very important because that's what makes a high quality water softener. Now, let me go back to my story, right? When we bought a unit that flooded a basement, that's when we started identifying that, wait, these things are now made in China. And so we took the filter material out on top of it. We were having people complain to us in year four or five, these things are failing, like water pressure and all these issues were going on. So we took a sample of the new units and we felt them in our fingers. And then we took uh, a sample of one that we know was made in, in, in America and had 44 certification. And this one was mushy and this one was strong. This one had fine little BBs and this one was much larger. We had a real problem here that this quality was substantially less and most importantly it didn't have that NSF 44 certification and it was made in China. So it's like one plus one does equal two. So all I'm doing in this video is sharing with you our personal experience. And our personal experience is that you need to be able to make sure that the product, if you want one to last a long time, has gone through an NSF 44 certification. Now, Sometimes at least we want to get that resin certified. So someone should be able to provide that for you. I do like products that have been, the whole unit's been certified. That's again where the whole unit was submitted to NSF for certification. Now, a lot of people have commented to me and said, hey, you know, you said this or you don't bring up uh, Rainsoft or some of these other companies. Well, I will give an honorable mention to Kinetico. For many years, they had their product NSF 44 certified. Now, we don't sell, we service it, we don't sell uh, Kinetico products, but they were NSF 44 certified. Today, they're not. Uh, they are made in America, so that's a big positive, and at one time, they were. So it's an important thing to, for you to do some research. I'm not a big fan of it because what they do is they take the same amount of filter material that you have in one large tank, divide it in two, and put it into a two smaller tanks. Now here's the dilemma there, is that now water, the speed of water going through a smaller tank will have what's called calcium creep. So it can fly by the filter material really, really fast, and as a result, you're not getting completely soft water. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of that. I am a fan of the fact that it's made in America. I am a fan of the fact that they were once NSF 44 certified. You have to do your homework. So here's number two. You can go to another website, nsf.org. So when you go to nsf.org, guess what you find? Uh, you can click on manufacturer's claims and you can find, you can enter Kinetico and then you can see whether or not they have an NSF 44 certification. Again, this certification is literally the leveling block. It literally is able to tell you exactly if it's if a product's been NSF 44 certified. In almost all contexts, you can look for a much longer life and lasting better than when we've seen that ones that don't. So that said, one of the best products that we've found is EcoWater. EcoWater is right there. EcoWater does manufacture their products to NSF 44 certification, and it's made in America. And so you can drive to Mississippi and see the product get, getting manufactured, right? So that's a big win. Um, the, uh, they're owned by Warren Buffett. So another win, it's like you, you got a professional grade organization that's actually proving that their product works. By the way, that's a company that has what's called ISO certification, ISO. Now what does ISO 9001 do? It just basically says that they're paying an independent company to come in and watch the manufacturer they have the manufacturers documented the whole manufacturing process and ISO certification just says that they check to make sure that they're doing the same thing every time they make each tank. Now, you might not think that's important, but it is. It's just no different than in the car industry, right? Years ago in the 70s and 80s, cars on Friday, you never want to buy one that was made on a Friday because 
their process wasn't right. Well, that's where ISO certification came into play, is that they want to document the fact that here's our manufacturing process and we're going to follow it every single time. And now we know that this is a great quality product. And the part of that is the manufacturer is making a huge investment into an independent organization to prove how they build out the products, important things. Then they pay another company, NSF, to prove that the broader softener actually works. That's a big win for you. So again, when you're looking for quality products, these are some of the key things that you're looking at. Uh, again, let's summarize them again so you can make sure you're staying on top. One, uh, what is their warranty? Because I'll give you an example. Eco Water gives a five-year warranty, and then you can buy an extended five-year warranty for a couple hundred dollars. So the manufacturer directly to the consumer gives you 10 years. You can count on a company. I don't know. You do your research. If Angel Water sells you a water software, we're going to back it up. So we put it in writing. We've been around for over 50 years, so you can count on us. We also, uh, so that's very important for you, is the warranty. Uh, I highlighted insurance, right? Does this company have insurance? You've got to do the homework, right? You don't want to have a flood without a current insurance. Uh, third, we said, is it made in America? Fourth, is it certified, NSF 44 certified? That's a major component for you to ask the dealer, do you have that? And is that something, uh, uh, you know, because that is so important to be able to provide you a long lasting product that is not only gonna last you long, but also certified to take out the toxins, radium 228, radium 226, and barium out of the water. So those things are some of the most important questions you would want to ask. I do know that there's other manufacturers. We'll get into the top my five manufacturers in another video if you'd like to check out that because we are going to investigate a little bit further in the top five that we found using and servicing water softeners. You can check out that video below. Again, I hope that this has been of use to you because as you know, I'm passionate about making you more healthy and saving money. To that end, my name is Drew, and I am here to serve you.